Hi there, this is a Unity tutorial for a beginner. It's a very interesting tutorial and I feel I should share it with you guys. So if I click on the play, this is what you guys will see happening on the video. Look at it. There we go guys, you see that? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Unity development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. And welcome to Unity Tutorial. Okay, guys, I believe you've all installed Unity. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on New. Let's start a new project and let's give a project a name. I'm just going to call it First. That's fine. Just call it First. And make sure you select 3D. Let's click on Create Project. There we go, our development environment is about ready now. So see the layout of the of the development environment. You can always set layer how you want. We can go straight to the layout here and just drop that down and select the default. If you select the default, this is how your system is going to look like. You can change the layout, do whatever you like with it. Okay, but uh, all you just need to do is come to the default here and reset the whole layer. And here we have the hierarchy, and underneath the hierarchy we have create, where you can select the various object that you intend to use, or you can always go to the game object and just select whatever you intend to use. Here beside it we have components. And here we have the different windows and of course the help file. We also have our asset there. And inside here you can even get your asset window where you can download whatever asset you might you might want. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is let's start with uh, Unity and the first thing is I'm gonna go to the 3D object and let's select cube. And there we go, there we have our cube. As you can see, that's our cube right there, dead centered. Okay, and that is why we have you know, on the transformation component area, we have position 000, rotation is 000, and this, uh, the scale is 111. In terms of the scale, you can always maybe just say the scale is 5. You see that, that's the x axis. Look at the x axis right here. Or you can go for the Y axis or the Z axis. There we go. And that's the Y axis that makes it move, move vertical. Okay, back to one. Alright, the other thing in here is we can always right click on this component and just click on reset. There we go. And we're back to where we started before. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is you see this very cube let's transform this cube to our background so i'm going to make that about 100 by 100 and let's change the y-axis to approximately 0 0.25 there you can always use your middle mouse just to just pan around and just reduce the whole size okay so that you can see it and you can always hold on to the alt key left mouse and move around okay and the other thing that you can do is we can use this object here the hand to move around or use this one to move how we want and this just to go around okay press F and that's what you get or you can always come back to your transformation to here just press that as you can see the whole thing is gone back to the default state there we go back in there all right you see these uh, icons here you can always use the shortcut key which is Q W E, R, and T. Okay, Q, W, E, R, T. So if I press W, there we go. If I press E, 
Q P. Okay, now I believe you guys understand that. The next thing we want to do is see if you hold on to the Alt key and hold down the left hand or the right hand key, you can always move in and out just like I'm doing right now. Okay, and if you want the whole full screen, you can just press Shift Space and that will give you full screen and Shift Space will take you back or you can always right click on here and select maximize okay and if you want to get it back just right click again and do that all right now what i'm going to do is you see this cube that we have in there we can always right click and let's rename it so i'm just going to call that ground there and right on top of the ground let's add cube so I'm gonna come here create select cube there we go now you see that very cube I'm gonna change as follows let me change that to 100 and the y axis I'm gonna change that to let's go for about maybe 20 and I'll just pull it right up there and then move it that way okay that's fine there the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to hold on to the control control and press d once there we go i will now drag it that means i've copied it and leave it right there okay so this can be let's let's give it a name let's rename this i will just call it Fans underscore zero one and the other one is okay. Let's make it L and the other one is going to be fans underscore R. There, those are the names. Okay, all right. We have two of those here. The next thing is I'm going to copy another one. Okay, this other one just to block the both sides let's hold on to the control and press d once drag it maybe center it right there and here you see the rotation the y axis i'm going to make that let's see if we make that 90 you see that will happen now we drag it and just pull it right there okay now let's duplicate another one but before then we need to change the name of these let me just change this to D. Right, and let's just duplicate another one. Control D, drag to block this edge of it. All right, that is fine. Now, the next thing I would like to do is, you see, right inside, I would like to add, let's change the name of this first. I would like to add a sphere right in here. And couple of cubes as well okay now come in here now oh, let's extend it let's make it a little bit bigger okay right in here let's go back to create and we select 3d objects let's add a cube here this one cube here for this cube I'm just gonna make that 5 by 5 and by 5 Okay, let's see if the cube is there. Yes, it is there, but we can't see it. Okay, we just call that cube. Let me call rename it and just call it player one. Player one. That's my player one. There is not too obvious. Let's change it to 10 by 10 by 10. Right, it's I think it's a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's move it this way. That's my player one. I think it's because I did not position it properly. So let's change it to 5 by 5 by 5. Yeah, I think that's much better. You see this very player one, I'm going to hold on to the control. And just, that seems to be too much. Let's delete some of it. Delete those. 
when you hold on to control and press D, what happens is you end up creating duplicate. See, let's delete this and I'm going to repeat that again. Okay, make sure it's selected control D. You see, I've just make, made a duplicate of that. So just click and drag. Okay, another one. And another one. Okay, so I have a couple of those there. Alright. Okay, the next thing I like to do is maybe create one more and move it this way. And here as well. Okay, if we select, let's see if we, we can select it all here. Yeah. And let's press E. When you press E, we can, maybe we can rotate it each individual. Okay, that's good. You see, we can rotate it all together at once. There we go. That's good. Now, that's fine. The next thing I like to do is go back to create. And I'm going to select 3D and select sphere. There we go. I have a sphere there. I'm just going to change that to 5 by 5 by 5 as well. There we go. Now, press enter and just move it right up you guys see it bet you can see that now and let's zoom in so that you can see it properly yeah. there so now I'm going to press D oh no what I'm going to do is let's click on this and just drag it right up okay and then come to the Come to the components here. Okay, you either right click, you either click on the component to add the physics, or we can go straight to the component right here. Let's collapse this. Make sure it's selected. Go to the component right here and go to phases, and I'm going to select rigid body. You see that, guys? So what will happen is when I run it, this should give me drop down let's see what's gonna happen when I run it you see what I'm talking about there we go that's fine so I'm going to now close that and come back there select it and just click on control D that's another one control D and another one and another one again Alright, so what I want is I want all these balls just to drop down into the, what shall I call it, into the square that I've just created. Now, if I right click and maximize, this is what I get, then just run it and you guys see what I'm talking about. Um, right there, okay. But I would like them to actually land on this. Okay, what I'm going to do now is let's select it all and just press Ctrl D to make a copy. Just bring that down right there. And I'm going to repeat the same thing for this one. There. Ctrl D and just take it up there. We've we just made a copy. Now, the next thing I like to do is. I would like to add some effect on it. Let's right click on the asset area right here. Okay, right click. Let's go to create. And then we we'll select material. There. Okay. Now, let's come to albedo here. Click on the albedo. And just change the color. You see that? Now, drag the color. Let's paste it on one of them. And I'm going to create another one and change the color as well, maybe yellow. Yeah, that's fine. Drag it, maybe paste it on this one. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat that for the rest of the balls and the squares. Let's go for blue. Just drag that blue and maybe for D 
this very one so let's repeat that for the rest of the balls and, and the cubes okay guys after adding the various colors this is how it looks like so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to right click on this and maximize the whole lot and let's select each individual and just rearrange rearrange it all maybe drag this one all right the other one these real ones I'm going to move them right up there right there and let's move these ones in okay this is how the arrangement is going to look like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the scene just extend it so that you guys can see see it in action and I'm just going to click on play and let's see what's going to happen and there we go guys you see that okay and that is how you create your own that's how you create a video on unity or a little game in unity but um, this is the first tutorial I suppose you guys will enjoy it and uh, there's going to be more of these anyway so with that I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it so you all have a nice day now and bye for now